Hey, hey, hey! It's me, Jera. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's vlog, I'm here to share with you on how to create a class on a Google Classroom. So, let's start. Ang una natin gagawin ay open ang Google Chrome and then sign in your Google account. Malalaman mo na nakapag-sign in ka na kapag nakita mo ang inyong Google account profile picture sa upper left, katulad nito. Then search Google Classroom. Click this or pwede rin na dito. Kapag pinindot mo ang sham na dots, ito yung makikita nyo. And then, click Classroom. Since you are creating a class, so your role is a teacher. So, you need to pick your role and choose I'm a teacher. Click this plus sign in order for you to create a class or join a class. When you click the plus sign, you have two options, join class or create class. Since you are a teacher and your goal is to create a class, so you need to choose create class. And then if you are a student, you need to choose join class. After you click create class, this will appear. The class name, the section, subject, and room. So for my class name, I have class of teacher Jera, and for the section, it's section M. Subject is English, and room is the grade 5 classroom. If you're done, click create. So, as what you have seen now, you have class of teacher Jera, in which that's the name of your class, and then section M, and there is a class code. Click this. Okay, the class code is B37QPD. L. This class code will be used by your students in order for them to join your class. Now let's change the theme or the cover of your class in order for it to look more attractive. Click select theme. There you have it. In the gallery, there are several pictures of backgrounds that you can choose. So we have a general, English and history, math and science, arts, sports, and other. And if you would like to personalize the background of your class, you can upload a photo. So just click upload photo. Then select a photo from your computer. Make sure that you already have a file of a photo that you would like to use as your class background. So I'll be using this. And then after that, click open. So kung napapansin nyo na in-upload ko na picture is maliit lang. Kasi yun lang nasa loob ng rectangle na yan ang makita as your class theme or your class background. If you're done adjusting, click select class theme. So there you have it. The class theme or the class background has been changed. You can also share something with your class. For example, let's post, Welcome learners! Okay, so before you post that one, you can also add files or a music or a video which is related to your post. Okay, so just click add. You can get file from your Google Drive. You can copy link. Okay, you can have a file from your computer. Or you can even have music or videos from YouTube. Okay, and then if you are done, you can click post. Oh, by the way, you can also choose to post it now or maybe you'll have a scheduled time when to post it. For example, try to click this. Okay, so you can choose either post schedule or save draft if you click schedule you can choose a month a date and a time when you would like to post it 
oh by the way in order for you to see the students who join your class click people so there you can see students again your students can join your class using the class code or you can invite your learners using their email address that's all for today so i hope you've learned something from our vlog today so don't forget to like and subscribe